Welcome to a special edition of Turbo. I'm Matthew. Today we're going to go over the three reasons why UVA football will improve from last year and three reasons why they might not. Don't bet against Mendenhall. Mendenhall has a proven track record of success. As head coach at BYU, he reached a bowl game for 11 straight seasons. At UVA, he managed to take a 2-10 team to a 6-7 team, good for UVA's first bowl game in six years. More importantly, Mendenhall understands his reality. The Daily Progress reported Mendenhall said he had never been more sad in his life in reference to his first team meeting in 2016, that the team sat with body language that reflected lack of confidence, lack of desire, and hopelessness. He knew fixing UVA football's mentality was perhaps priority number one. And now thanks in large part to Mendenhall, the air around UVA football has shifted. Upon coming to office, new UVA athletic director Carla Williams quickly approved an increase in football's operating budget. This allowed UVA football to go from three strength and conditioning coaches to five and three football analysts to six. UVA is also doing better with recruitment. Our 2018 recruiting class was nationally ranked 60th, 11th in the ACC, while our 2019 recruiting class is nationally ranked 33rd, 6th in the ACC. This is a massive change and really demonstrates Mendenhall's long-term approach to fixing UVA football. UVA football was not big enough for the ACC in 2016. Mendenhall admitted as much right here. Um, a year ago, it was uh, it was lacking, and it was it was a, a wake up call. We've been able to to target more size and strength um, to where hopefully the game sounds and looks different than it did a year ago. At off season, the team bulked up big, and their improvement showed in their six and seven season. Now they've done it again. StreakingTheLawn.com looked into the size changes from returning players of 2017 versus 2018. And as a net total, returning players gained 375 pounds and new guys gained 198 pounds from their previous weight. So the old guys are stronger and the new guys are stronger. Virginia is coming back with physicality they didn't have before. And with new transfers like defensive lineman Dylan Thomas, the team will be ready to play. So we have a new quarterback. He's fast, he's athletic, he's Bryce Perkins, and he can use his legs, essentially the opposite of Kurt Benkert. Bryce is coming out of junior college football, where he led his team Arizona Western to 9-1, good for second nationally. Watch what he did in the junior college finals. To the tune of about 40 yards per contest, hasn't got a carry yet until, well, fake to Dejon and Perkins, those long strides, tries another hurdle. And Perkins has serious athleticism. It can really help Virginia's run game, given Virginia had the fifth lowest rushing yards per game in the FBS last season. Also, the man managed to run 22.2 miles per hour. Bryce Perkins has so much potential and can be the explosive spark Virginia has needed. So that all sounds really great. What could possibly go wrong? Probably not all upside with Bryce. He's still improving NCAA play, and there's some questions about his accuracy. In his last season with Arizona Western, he had a great completion rate of 63.3%. Kerb Benkert had 58.5% last season. But he still threw more interceptions than touchdowns, including three in his opening game of the season. So while he can do this, UVA fans should consider proceeding with some caution. Virginia lost some great players that provided a spark, especially on the defensive end. The Who's lost key contributors such as Andrew Brown, Micah Kaiser, and Quinn Blanding. Coach Mendenhall told the same story in his media availability after their first spring practice. Uh, at middle linebacker, at Micah's spot, it's year one. At Quinn's spot, it's year one. For other spots, it's year three. The theme of these improvements have been future-oriented. Better recruits, better structure, but they take time. Virginia is still Virginia. In brutal honesty, Coach Mendenhall said, I believe we have 27 ACC caliber football players on our roster today. This didn't include the 2018 class, but still fairly damning and shows how far Virginia still has to go.